And so for our game number five of the clan war between Pigpen and Enigma, we are heading to altitude. We're in the bottom left corner playing with red probes. It is King Franny. And his opponent from Pigpen playing with blue Zerg drones. It is Chimichanga. Uh, wasn't Chimichanga someone that likes soil? Um, uh, not sure. Uh, I casted a couple of Chimichanga games, and they are... Uh, I think I've seen him all 12 uh, pull once in those games, uh, and a couple of other games were fairly macro. No, I meant like a uh, roach push of like 30, 40 drones or something. So at least what I had in my head. Yeah. And then... I'm, I think I remember making Lurk and Infest at the same time. Or like, you play like Roach, Hydra, Infest or something, even against like Storm Disruptor. I think I remember the game you're talking about, yeah. He did. It was a uh, no-cap board that we cast. Yeah. But so far, a very standard opener from uh, Chimichanga. Going for... You know, hatch gas pool, pretty much all on 17. Protoss oh, responds bro. with a bog standard nexus into core. I'm not uh, following the worker production. I only had the ability to do so. Uh, also, something interesting I noted is that the Protoss is rallying the worker and the gas instead of pulling. So. I mean, this doesn't mean much, but it might be someone that thinks about optimizing minerals and someone that's more likely to go into a depth slot and suck it. Like Graves, I mean. But, but of course, uh, just like uh, reading tea leaves right now. One, and one big item that I'm noticing is the pulling of the chrono. So it we have 160 hard. energy on the main nexus, so that. That is two full workers that are that we're missing at this point. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, this could be a completely. Let's see. If you chrono and adapt, you should always chrono a second time as well for a second adapt. It goes to. Yeah. I, but I, it's I gonna be like an this. adapt into a stalker. And. The Overlord from Chimichanga comes in, confirms that there that this is going to be a Stargate. The other Overlord gets a full vision of the Shade. Queen is positioned fairly well to deflect this Adept. Uh, the Lings are a little bit um, mispositioned, I would say. I would keep them on top of the ram, but... So far, so good. Chimichanga hasn't lost a Kree Tumor. Um, the Adept didn't even uh, shade in to confirm the tech. So, again, for a Protoss player, uh, the Oracle will be the main source of information. But in certain builds, if, let's say, Chimichanga was going for a super early Roach Warren... Uh, the Evil Chamber. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like the adept scout, you want to shade the adept into the main base to kind of check the uh, worker saturation, check uh, maybe for attack, because there are some zerg builds that would hit in 20 seconds and ruin Protoss's day. Like this, it's a bit plus on melee, so this could be a pretty link heavy uh, pressure even in coming up. Yep. The Oracle is sharking around, trying to get some damage done. The Queen is going to be putting a lot of damage on the Oracle. Uh, the Oracle is going to be deep in the red and is going to go down the third Queen. Branda comes in and says, no, 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 no probe kills for you, no scouting information for you. And losing that first Oracle is a big setback for the Protoss player. Especially if something like Ling Pressure will come 
uh, with a plus one. Every Orica there will provide so much DPS for us links. Uh, yeah. Do we have a, we have one more Orica? Uh, the the bet here on the pro side is also extremely exposed. Usually you like to have it more defensive, more in your mineral line. Uh, there's more uh, links in production. Exactly, there are 12 links in production. Chimichanga is uh, stopping at 50 workers. He's getting another Nexus, but th that will create a mother of all link floods. And the plus one is only 20 seconds from finishing. And our Protoss player doesn't really have anything that will work to deflect this pressure. The second Oracle is going to pop out, but I'm not sure that that is going to be enough to prevent the Nexus from being killed. Yeah, uh, Chibi Chang is definitely missing his time a little bit. I think the plus one is a bit late because he forgot to pull into gas again a bit. So, this might actually be close. Uh, this this will absolutely be close. Uh, the battery overcharge gets activated. Uh, I wish the links would click on the battery itself. Um, yeah, that, that would have been very, very important. Yeah, that was... That is like, we're talking about like what, like 2,000 shields or so that were here that should have never been here. Yeah. So the battery, as you said, the battery was very exposed and the links could have been clicked on it to do a lot of, uh, to kill the battery almost instantaneously. And then all those units are gonna, are, were, would have been dead and along with a, with a number of probes. But that hold allows King Franny now to go onto the map and I'm not sure about the stalker positioning on creep. The it is there's still a lot yeah, of links. Blink. Yes, blink. Yes. But uh, there's still a lot of one Oracle here, though. So if if you have uh, both your Oracles here with energy and the blink of creep, it's fine. But this is uh, a lot of stalker going down, actually. Yeah. Uh, now there are four gate warpin uh, warpins of stalker available. We do have a few Hydras being put on the field, uh, but Chimichanga needs to be fairly careful. Uh, That's the Zerg know about the prism. Like, obviously can't see it right now, but if he knows, he could use the links and the Queens to push the prism away. Well, the links are uh, running by, and they are going to go and attack. Uh, I don't... The Lynx should Ooh. go and attack the third, not the natural. This is not a good idea. Uh, yeah, probably. The, the Hydras are doing not a bad job, but the Lynx broke through. The Lynx broke through the Adepts and they are in the natural. So we are in a very weird base trade situation. The Spines actually fit, get to finish and they were going to provide a huge amount of DPS for the Zerg defending. In the, at the same time, the Lings are going to town. They're going to kill the Cyber Core. And Looks like game over. they are killing the pylon powering the gate and the Stargate. And they are going to town on the worker line of the Protoss player. And yeah, it does seem like the game is over. And GG gets called by King Franny. With Chimichanga prevailing. In a fairly back and forth game, I did. Uh, I really did like the splitting of the links and kind of sending them off to do a run by. With um, it was a very sketchy hold at uh, the inline third of the Zerg, but in the end, um, the the gamble paid off.